Ahead of the meeting to be held between the Armenian and Azerbaijani foreign ministers in Washington, D.C., Armenia's foreign minister Zohrat Munat Zaganyan on Tuesday met with OSC Minsk Group co-chairs Igor Popov of Russia, Stavan Visconti of France, and Andrew Schofer of the United States, as well as Andrzej Kaspershik, personal representative of the OSC chairman in office. The interlocutors assessed the current situation in the Karabakh peace process, including in the context of the implementation of the agreements that were reached during the previous meeting. Meetings. The Army and Azerbaijani foreign ministers will also hold meetings with the U.S. President's National Security Advisor John Bolton. Looking forward to meetings later this week with the Foreign Minister of Armenia and the Foreign Minister of Azerbaijan to encourage continued dialogue between them. The United States stands ready to assist in advancing the cause of peace in the region, Bolton tweeted. The President of Armenia, Armen Sarkisyan, on Wednesday signed a decree to appoint Rustam Badasyan Minister of Justice of Armenia and based on the Prime Minister's proposal. On June the 7th, Ardak Zeynalyan resigned from his position as Minister of Justice. The S-300 missile system was used during the joint military exercises of the Air Defense Troops of the Armenian Armed Forces and the Defense Army of Artsakh. The exercises involved S-300, modernized S-125, OSA-AK, and Srela-10, Igla-S, and Berba missiles. Air defense units equipped with the latest Armenian-made radar stations were also involved in the exercises. The U.S. House of Representatives has adopted an amendment appropriating $40 million in democracy aid to Armenia. The amendment was presented by Congressional Armenian Caucus co-chair Jackie Speer and is a part of the fiscal year 2020 foreign aid bill. Another amendment presented by T.J. Cox and adopted by the House called for a $1.5 million assistance for life-saving demining programs and expanded rehabilitation services in the Republic of Artsakh. Legendary Spanish coach Vicente Del Bosque arrived in Armenia to deliver a lecture to Armenian coaches. Del Bosque, who was assisted by Tony Grande and Javier Mignano, spoke about the problems of modern football during the press conference in Yerevan. One of our specialists, Javier Mignano, works in Armenia. It was he who invited us. Armenian coaches should be surrounded by good specialists, physical training coaches, and other specialists. All this will lead to the growth of Armenian football, he said, during the press conference.